Hi, I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello po sa aking mga subscribers, sa mga teachers and students na patuloy na sumusubaybay sa ating math video tutorial. Lalo na yung mga teachers na ginagamit yung video ko bilang reference ng kanilang Google Classroom or Google Site. Na-appreciate ko po kayong lahat. Maraming salamat po. Ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay sum and difference of two cubes. Mag-review muna tayo. List all the perfect cube numbers. You should be able to list the first 15 cube numbers in 30 seconds. You may start writing now. Medyo mahirap ang topic na ito. Nakakalito sa umpisa kaya kailangan ay step by step nating sasagutan ang bawat problem or polynomial na i-factor natin using sum or difference of two cubes. At kailangan ay maging familiar tayo sa mga perfect cube numbers. Ang mga perfect cubes ay 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, 216, 343, 512, 700, 29, 1,000, 1,328, 1,197, 2,744, at 3,344. Yon ang mga dapat nating tandaan. Factoring a sum or difference of two cubes. Sum of two cubes. A cube plus B cube at ang kanyang factored form ay a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Kapag naman difference of 2 cubes, binomial siya pero separated ng minus sign. a cube minus b cube at ito ang kanyang mga factors. a minus b a squared plus ab plus b squared. Tandaan lang natin yung soap. Same sign, opposite, always positive. Para hindi tayo marito. Again, soap. Same sign, opposite, always positive. Kapag siya ay sum of 2 cubes, ang sign dapat ng ating factors ay plus, minus, plus. Kapag naman difference of 2 cubes, minus, plus, plus. Ulit, tandaan lang natin yung mnemonic device na so. Meron tayong dalawang conditions na sinusunod. Una, ito ay binomial. At kailangan ang binomial ay constant perfect cube numbers yung kaninang nilista nyo na 1 to 15 and then variable exponent must be a multiple of 3 because each term must be a cube again variable it should be raised to a multiple of 3 exponent so let's have our first example x cubed minus 8 so it satisfied the two condition that it is a binomial and each term is a perfect cube x cube and 8 so therefore this will be the answer so paano po natin nakuha yung factors na nandito sa si screen isa-isahin po natin nakuha yung x sa cube root of x cube doon sa ating given na x cube cube root of x cube kaya nakuha yung first term ng ating first factor na x Okay, nakuha ba? And then, yung pangalawa namang term doon sa first factor ay kinuha naman yung cube root of 8. Doon sa second term ng ating example, 8. Cube root of 8 is 2. So, that will be our first factor. Paano naman makakuha yung second factor? So, doon naman tayo magbe-base doon sa x minus 2, doon sa ating first factor. So, unang term sa ating second factor ay x squared. So, kaila paano natin siya makukuha? Square of x. Ayan. In-square natin yung first term ng first factor. And then, yung middle term naman na 2x ay product of x and 2. So, minultiply naman natin yung dalawang terms ng first factor, which is yung x and 2. At yung last term naman ay square of 2. 
In-square naman yung second term ng ating first factor which is 2. 2 squared is 4. So that's why the answer is x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. Second example. 27x cubed plus 125y to the 12th. So, lahat ng condition ay nasatisfied by nominal at lahat ng terms ay perfect cube. Yung 27, yung x cube, yung 125, at yung y to the 12th. Lahat ay perfect cube. So, ngayon naman, paano natin kukahanin ang kanyang factors? Susundan ulit natin yung step-by-step -step process. Ito yung ating kasagutan. So, paano natin nakuha yung ating factors. Mag-start tayo dun sa first factor na 3x plus 5y to the fourth. First term, 3x. Cube root of 27x cube. Kinuha natin yung cube root nung first term ng ating example. Cube root of 27 is 3. Cube root of x cube is x. That's why 3x. Second term naman ay kinuha naman natin ang cube root nung second term ng example. Cube root of 125 is 5. Cube root of y to the 12, you just divide. 12 divided by 4 is... Sorry, y, 12 divided by 3 is y to the 4th. Next, first factor, uh, first term ng ating second factor, square of 3x. Square lang natin yung first term na 3x. So, 3x squared is 9x squared. Middle term, product of 3x and 5y to the fourth. You just multiply the two terms of the first factor. 3 times 5 is 15, then you just add the variables x and y to the fourth. Last term, square of 5y to the fourth. Yung ating last term, no ating first factor, just square. 5 squared is 25, y to the fourth squared is y to the eighth. Okay, pwede nyo ulitin yung video kung hindi nyo agad na gets or pwede nyo ipost. Next, x to the 6 and y to the 4th plus 64. First condition is satisfied because it is a binomial but the second condition did not satisfy. Why? Because the exponent of y is not a multiple of 3. y to the 4th is not a multiple of 3 and it is not a sum of cubes. So, you just write the word prime. So, let's move to a more complex problem. 3m cubed minus 3 8. So, ito na naman yung fraction na hate na hate na mga student. Again, yung ating b did not satisfy but we need to factor out the common monomial factor by 3. 3m cubed minus 3 over 8 equals to 3 times m cubed minus 1 over 8. Going back to the topic CMF. So, paano ulit nakuha yung 1 over 8? So, nandito po yung solution. Nandan po sa baba. And then, finactored out yung remaining factor na m cube minus 1 over 8. Yung m ay nakuha sa cube root of m cube. Yung 1 half naman ay nakuha sa cube root of 1 over 8. Doon tayo sa uh, second term. Next, m squared naman yung square of m. Doon sa first factor. Yung m over 2 naman na middle term ay you just multiply m and 1 half. So, m times 1 half is m over 2. And then, the last term is squaring the second term of the first factor which is 1 half. So, 1 half squared, 1 squared, the numerator is 1, 2 squared, the denominator is 4. So, therefore, that will be our answer. I hope that you are all following. Okay, so you need to try this activity. You need to factor each completely. And then, at the end of this video, uh, I will be revealing the answer If you did not fully understand our lesson uh, for today uh, you may go back again to our examples
you can uh, post uh, the video and try to uh, understand or analyze each example. So this will be our answers. So check your own work. Once again, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notif bell so that you will be updated uh, in my new math tutorial. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to um, share this with your classmates or friends. See you on my next math tutorial.